I'm going to talk you through the most frequently asked questions on HestingQ. I'm going to start by showing you how to edit a device on the HestingQ app. So the very first thing is to tap on the settings icon. You will see the two options here are to add Q cookware and add cooktop. I like to start with the cookware and you will be presented with all the various pans and pots in your area. And so you just go ahead and choose the correct one and tap on next. You'll see that your pan was added successfully into your settings profile when the pan icon is red. That indicates that it is active. The very next thing is you wanna add your Q cooktop. And so you'll choose the corresponding button. If you get prompted to enable notifications, please do so. And once again, you will see all the available burners within your area. And once again, you have to make sure that you have pre-labeled your burners in advance so you know exactly which one's yours. In this example, I'm gonna choose the very first one here and tap next. If you'd like to edit or remove a device, I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna start with the burner and tap on that icon. Some people like to personalize their queue and they'll call it whatever they want, maybe Bob's burner, for example. So if you wish to do that, you can tap on that icon and you can go ahead and type in your favorite word there. You'll also note that there is an ID that indicates the exact burner that you have. And if it's the wrong one, you can go back to your previous option and you can select the correct one. Final two options here are to update the firmware and to remove the device. I like to update the firmware as often as possible just to make sure I have the very latest version and uh, we'll go through that a little later. It would be highly unlikely for you to have to remove a device, but there are times where something might happen and I like to start there to try to troubleshoot. So if you just remove it, you'll get prompted and go ahead and confirm that you want to remove. You're taken back to this main screen and you can see now that the burner is totally gone. And so once again, I'm gonna tap add cooktop enable push notifications, and select the correct burner again. I'm gonna show you how to update your firmware. Start with settings, and here you're gonna see that you're being prompted to update the firmware. So first tap on the device, and then tap on the update firmware button. Confirm you'd like to update. If prompted to do Bluetooth pairing, go ahead and confirm. You'd know that it's successfully updated after you see the screen. Now I'm gonna show you how to change the battery in your pan. Twist the end cap off. You don't need too much strength so they don't break anything. Make sure that the positive end is facing up. I sometimes get asked how you turn off the pan and I'll show you how to do that right now. The goal there is to save battery. You would just give it a quarter of a turn and that effectively turns off the pan. To turn it back on, you would just screw it all the way back in. A problem that may come up is that the burner doesn't turn on at a preheat step. There are three common reasons for this. Uh, the very first one is that the burner is not plugged into a powered outlet. You want to make sure to plug it into an outlet that is fully powered. Uh, another reason is that the burner may not have the latest version of the firmware installed. So go ahead and tap into settings and make sure that you have the latest version of the firmware. If problems persist, you could try hard closing the app and try it again. Sometimes when you're in settings, you might not see any of your devices show up. If you're having trouble pairing with your devices, first thing you want to do is check that everything is powered. For example, your pad needs to have a brand new battery installed. Your burner would also need to be plugged in. Once you do that, you want to make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled and that you're on an active Wi-Fi network. Then go back into the Heston Q app settings and try again. The most common question I get is how do I clean my stainless steel pan? I would recommend simply using a sponge and your soap and just giving it a good scrub. If there's still residue on your pan, then you can combine one part vinegar, one part baking soda and three parts water and use a cue to boil that together. That should lift any remaining residue. For more information, check out support.hestonq.com.